Good morning. I have an appointment I have to leave for a little while, so I wanted to be sure to get the announcements in early, so we're not still any instructional time. We'll be well within our eight minutes, I promise you. Uh, big event this afternoon during warrior time. You'll receive your midterm grades, and as you know, we're now on semesters, two roughly 18-week semesters, and then midterms about nine weeks in, and I think last week into the ninth week, so we're actually week 10, so you're getting your reports. Teachers had to submit those by the beginning of this week. So you'll get them in your sixth period class during warrior time today. If you don't have a sixth period class at all, probably you should see your concert to pick them up, but maybe wait till after sixth period today to do that. And teachers, they're in your mailboxes. If you haven't picked them up, be sure you get them if you're a sixth period teacher. Okay, we have a lot of birthdays today. Josiah Braggs, Maddie Early, <coughs> excuse me, Mercedes Fay, Alec Meyer, Kanata Redmond, and Valencia Stokes, all with birthdays today. How about somebody here to talk about the Honored House? I'll skip that for the moment. Uh, today at 3.15, all baseball players are reminded to uh, meet in the cafeteria for a required meeting for all baseball players. That's a short meeting. Any boys basketball players, all grades, who missed the meeting last week, need to fill out a player information sheet. In the activities office, Mrs. Carter has those for you uh, by tomorrow. Uh, next Monday after school, there will be a mandatory basketball meeting for girls. All girls interested in basketball, all grades. It will just be about a 15 to 20 minute meeting and will be in Coach House Room 142. Please be there. And WLP's Pam Slam 7. Seventh annual Pam Slam, great event. It will take place on Friday, December 4th. If you're a musician or a poet who would like to participate, uh, <coughs> excuse me again, sign up sheets are posted outside the door, room 232, and the sign up deadline is November 20th. That's a ways away. Uh, I'll read this one in its entirety one for one more time, maybe one last time. Are you interested in Iowa's unique role in presidential politics? Do you want to know how the Iowa caucuses actually work? Why then come participate in a mock caucus here at Washington High School on November 19th? It would be refreshments and food. You must register early for this event, so pick up a registration form from Mr. Sherman in room 144 and turn it back into him by tomorrow, October 30th. And that'll be fun, so be sure to do that. It's a quick turnaround, so jump on it. Uh, this is not limited to just seniors. All students can participate, uh, but seniors give it a special thought because you probably will want to go to uh, your caucus because by the time the election comes around next November, pretty much everybody in the senior class, I'm sure, will be 18 and eligible to vote. <coughs> ACDEC will meet after school today at 148. Robotics after school both today and tomorrow in 103. Study table after school today in 118B and upcoming college visits. Salon Professional Academy is tomorrow. And then in the next week you can plan ahead. University of Rochester, it's an excellent private, somewhat selective college in New York will be here. Uh, and uh, also next week DePaul University uh, from Indiana and that's also a fine four-year private school. Uh, here are your lunch choices for today. Spaghetti with meatballs and a breadstick, or spicy chicken patty on a bun, or Asian rice bowl, or a grilled cheese sandwich, or specialty pizza, or sub sandwiches. Lots of great choices in the Warrior Cafe today. Here are your student announcers, and I'll be back with our football right after this. Hi, photo club today in the Surveyor Lab. Stop by, uh, 3.30 to 4.30. Um, please come to the haunted house at the orchestra room tomorrow night from 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, there'll be food, snacks, or food, a movie, and it's $5 admission. You should come. We're from Take Charge, and the stat for today is, according to the federal government, 23.5 million Americans are in need of substance abuse treatment, but only 1 in 10 receive it. And Take Charge members are still se uh, selling baked goods and uh, for one dollar and t-shirts for ten dollars. Um, Feminist Club meets today in Mr. Clancy's room, uh, room 155. We will be having cookies, so stop by. Um, Reader's Theater has our first read-through Wednesday after school in Mrs. Tinkham's room, so be there and bring your scripts. Um, hi. If you are signed up for the Adastra Trick or Treat, you will be getting a pass um, to come to the orchestra room during warrior time so that we can hand out the flyers. Mm -hmm. um, we need one person from each group. At least. At least. So 
if you cannot actually come to Warrior Time, it's perfectly fine as long as we have one person from the group. And Thanks. we're meeting in the band lot? Uh, oh, we're meeting in the orchestra, orchestra room, room. and then we're going to send the cards out. Thank you. Uh, first meeting of film club is today after school in room 105C. Um, it's just a quick informational meeting so anybody involved in the leadership retreat won't affect it too much. Um, 105C is in the industrial tech wing. Again, further information, uh, follow us on Twitter at Wash Movie Club. Group Mind meets today from 5 to 6 in, in Mrs. Tinkham's room, 218, and WLP meets today in room 232. Thank you, Elise. First of all, a reminder for a leadership retreat. I believe last time I checked, we had about 199 students going on the leadership retreat this year. Uh, dress warmly. Now, if you haven't been before, and most of you haven't, we do some outdoor activities, especially uh, Friday morning. Uh, and also tonight, there's a big, usually a big campfire. Uh, so dress warmly. You were at the football game, you know, it's, it's, it's cold at night. Wear lots of layers. I had on six layers last night and felt very comfortable. But don't come with just a sweatshirt or you will not feel comfortable participating in the activities. Gloves or mittens also, and a stocking cap or some kind of a cap would be very well advised. What a great win by our football team last night over uh, excellent Cedar Falls team. They were six and three before last night. Uh, they had, uh, they were, a, they shouldn't have been a four seed, but they were, and that was a very tough game for us, but we played really gritty football and got that important win. Uh, and you probably all maybe know this, but now our next game is right away Monday night uh, against Jefferson, a rematch with Jefferson. They're a tough team, too. They've only lost to Wash, Kennedy, and Cedar Falls, and Cedar Falls was in overtime. So plan on being there to cheer your words on. They'll need lots of support from the stands, as there certainly was last night. Uh, with the second game, the 8 o'clock game, it's another doubleheader. Uh, Kennedy plays somebody, let's see. North Scott. North Scott. North Scott in the first game at 530, and then our game is at 8 o'clock Monday night. So we thank you for your attention to these Thursday morning announcements.